Let's see if anyone answers. How you going, mate? Yeah, good, great, sir. Not too bad. Nice to meet you again, Ibrahim. Oh, that's brilliant. Mate, this lighting really does it justice, eh? Hey? What year model is this? 2018. And you got a brand new? Yeah, brand new, five years ago. Stock as a rock. Stock, I mean, RS3, stock as a rock is still, still pretty yeah, quick. It's... How many AMGs have you killed so far? A few. A few? A few more to come. Carbon diffuser. Is the carbon diffuser stock? No, nah, aftermarket. Aftermarket? Yeah, carbon. And what about this uh, lip? That's aftermarket as well. I understand that these cost a fair bit from Audi if you want them. The black badges? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you got that done when you spec'd yeah, it out? Yeah. Got a nice AMG here that yeah. you probably killed, huh? S63. Won, won, won the pink slips? Yeah. And now it's in your garage? It's in the garage now. You're sending it? Yeah. Revealing that or we're not, we're, we're not yeah, revealing it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? What are you getting done, man? Yeah, it goes away on Monday to Queensland to 999 Automotive and it's just getting the full works built motor, big turbo. There was a bit of debate on TikTok uh, about the amount of power it's making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 360, that's what you said, right? Well, yeah, how much? at the wheel, yeah, correct, yeah. 360 at the wheel yeah. and it's kilowatts. Kilowatts, yeah, so 500. Around horsepower. 500 horsepower, yeah. which is a fair bit, but you're getting more done now. Yeah, it's not much to be honest with you compared to other cars that roll. But you're still keeping up with them. Yeah, you keep up, yeah. Yeah, Sebastian? That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's all right. But this is your weekend fun car, right? Yeah, weekend slash track car. Absolute yeah. weapon. Uh, something I didn't notice before, you got an aftermarket intercooler in there. Yeah, uh, so I don't it's know an R-Rose intercooler. It must have been a bit of work to get that fitted. Yeah, it was. Yeah. The extra crash bar comes off and they put on the aftermarket crash bar. So it's still safe? Yeah, it's still safe. still got a crash bar still there. It's like a tube. It's not black though. Intercooler? Yeah, I don't like black intercoolers. You don't like I've black intercoolers? I like the raw, the raw look. Raw look? Yeah, yeah. Another thing, people don't like Nardo grey because they nah. think that um, cheap, people are too lazy. Primer colour. Yeah, <laughs> just paint over the primer yeah, directly. Yeah. Couldn't make my mind up, so leave it in primer. But if you have an RS, Audi. Gotta you, be Nardo. Yeah, that's it. Some massive brakes. And these wheels, are they? Yeah, so semi-slick tyres, Koya 18 inch rims. They're good, they're good for the track, for drag. Aftermarket rims, Aftermarket, right? yeah. The rims that come stock on this, they're normally, they look like golf rims. Yeah, the 19s. So yeah. one level down, one so level you get a bit of cushioning from the wall. That's it, yeah. And a bit more grip. More grip, more rubber. And there's a new model of this out? Yeah, this came out like six months ago, I think. But it's not as nice as this one. I don't like it. It's a bit quieter, yeah, right? Yeah, OPF, a bit quieter. It's too bubbly. But this one? This I always like this, this spec. Really sharp lines. Yeah, that's right. A lot yeah. louder as well. Yeah, heaps louder. And the new one probably has a snap crackle pop tune. Uh, I think it has any snap pop tune. <laughs> can't do anything yeah, to sounds it. Sounds like shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and do you want to show us the interior? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. You got the Ferrari air vents. They're not actually Ferrari. No, I like wish. The, the round <laughs> spec. And uh, you got a what? Is, what is this turbo timer? Uh, it's a P3 gauge. What does so that do? So it shows you your ethanol content, boost, mm. air intake in terms, uh, oil temps, pretty much everything about the car. All the info you need to stay safe. Do you have an aftermarket dash in there as well? Any computer hooked up to the... Uh, no, it's just aftermarket steering. Yep. And still running factory dash, factory ECU. The interior is really nice on these cars. But that looks pretty stock. Is that from another, like a high it's spec Audi? It's like a R8 style steering wheel with okay. the um, drive select and start and stop button on the wheel. Very nice. Yeah. It looks like it comes from factory. You've done a very good job about um, modifying this car. Yeah, it blends in pretty good. Anything in the rear seats? Oh, no, nothing special. Nothing special? You don't need uh, rear seats in this, it's only... No, they'll be going soon. They'll be going soon? They'll be going soon, yeah. Are you putting the cage in as well? I um, haven't decided yet on that. Well, what are you going to put in instead of the rear seats? Oh, it'll just be empty, be like a rear seat delete. It'll just be like a, um, like a cage type of thing on the back. Yeah, yeah. And that's about it, yeah, it'll just be empty. That's it. Bit of lightweight, what yeah, is it, weight reduction? Yeah, a bit of weight reduction, yeah. Knock out the receipts. Do you remember oh, the just, WRXs, uh, how they used to have like the really light? Pretty sure the aluminium at the moment. Aluminium? Yeah. So, do you want to pop the hood yeah, so we can have a look at the engine as well? Man, I, I can't get over the colour. I no, absolutely thanks, love this colour. Let's do a little bit of a... Yeah, that, that sounds light. Yeah, so they're pretty light. And, well, oh, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Are these um, five cylinder? Five cylinder, yeah. Five cylinder, so it's a bit odd. It's an odd number, huh? Yeah, that's what makes them a bit different. And it makes the, the, it makes, the unique sound as yeah, well, huh? Yeah, that's where it comes from. Remember the XR5s, the Focus XR5? That's where they came from, like the, yeah. back in the rally days and stuff. Yeah. Very popular. But what is, uh, what's going on here? What's this thing thingamajig? So that's the Aventuri intake. Yep. And that runs into a turbo inlet. And the turbo is hidden away in this thing behind yeah, the engine? Yeah, so it's between the firewall and the engine. Yep. Right. It's just, you can't really see it. What's the size of the turbo on this now? It's just factory. And you said you're going to uh, get a bigger yeah, turbo on this? Yeah, so probably going to get a, either a 7270, 7275. And um, you'll leave a lot of this um, as it yeah, is? Yeah, the intake is staying. Yeah. Once they're built, you can't really tell like they've been built. 
Yep, they still look. They look. They look stock. I mean, apart, look, yeah, there's a stock. lot of carbon fiber there. Yeah, but I mean, with these high-end sort of high-spec cars, they do yeah. come with carbon fiber That's in right, them yeah. from factory. It's a clean job. No cable ties. No, 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 none of yeah. that. <laughs> what's this? A little forge sticker. What's that? That's just for the um, the gauge. Oh. The P3 gauge, yeah. Oh, okay, and that's it where it you plugs in. gives you boost reading for the gauge, yeah. Yeah, that's where it plugs in. That's okay, right, okay. Yeah. And then, is this going to look a lot different to what it is now after um, you have the upgrades put in? Not a massive difference. Like, the intake manifold's going. So, it'll be a big intake manifold. You'll probably see that. It'll be a yep. raw. Um, this is staying. This is staying, yep. yeah. Yeah. Um, that's about it, to be honest. Yeah. That's about it. It's pretty much all inside the motor. And what were you saying it's going to get done? Um, like, pretty much all the works. So, built motor. So, sleeve, sleeve block. Ported heads, big yep. turbo, uh, nitrous setup, meth injection. And so any much. any estimation of how much power it's going to be? Hopefully a thousand horsepower. A that's thousand. What, that's what we're aiming for. Horsepower. Horsepower. All right. So okay. seven hundred kilowatts. Yeah, that's still conservative. Wheel. Yeah, it's really pretty good. And it, it's going to be reliable. It's not a it's not a tune where you're absolutely no no no. Like the... You can just flick it a comfort mode and drive normal. And yep. Oh, you can drive select mode, huh? Yeah, we'll take it for a drive, don't. And go to dynamic and changes the whole car. Very nice. But overall, man, very nice car. We're going to go for a drive. Yeah, that's the good stuff. But this is hectic. we got a nice sunroof happening. Moonroof, as they call it? No, no moonroof. Half, no. half. Half roof. Got to be careful of the, the bumps, eh? Yes. I've scraped it a few times in the past. It's painful? Yeah, but when you hear it scrape like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch our 1320 videos? Yeah. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm in one of them right now. Wait, the car launches. Yeah. Obviously going the speed limit. Yeah, uh, it's only 50 kilometers. Only, like only 50. I'm fast forwarding the footage yeah. and increasing the sound, so that's why it sounds like that. Speed it up. Yeah, I'll speed the footage up, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> 